Oh, hello, welcome to part two of the Q&A. Yeah, this time um, we're on comments from YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Last time we were on comments from Instagram. Yeah, but got five or six of these. Yeah. So the first one is from Sam Davis. And he put, what would you change the international for if you wanted to sell it? Oh, that's a tough question, that is. Yeah. So, yeah. A 956. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably have to be a 956. Yeah, but I think realistically it would be a 956, yeah. that would be nice. Um, but, uh, well, Rupert, what would you, a nice old sort of practical tractor that would do the same duty as uh, well with the 784? So you can't really just say 7. Yeah. Because uh, something that's. Nimble, and it's not, not. Something yeah, that's nimble yeah, around yeah, the yard but yeah. will power the straw chopper. That's what we need, really. Uh, I don't really know what quite. Nah. Maybe a Z2 or something like that. Yeah, Zeta. Zeta but then, no, no, no. Well, then <laughs> greenhouse, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't. Uh, oh, perhaps an old Ford. Yeah. 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 Seven six ten. <laughs> yeah. Seven six ten. The bubble uh, cab. The bubble cab. Yeah. 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 So, Max, what would you realistic? That's nice. What the? Uh, maybe a nine five six. Yeah. All right. Are they good. And uh, yeah, or a eight six forty. Yeah. Ford. Uh, I think I'd say a uh, Massey 3075 or uh, probably just a 956. I do like them. I think we all like them. Rupert, you like 956? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's the one tractor we can all agree on. Yeah. 956. Can't beat one really. But Not really, no. 3075 Massey or a 390 or something like that. Something that's got enough power on the straw chopper yeah. but still nimble around the yard. That's what we need. And yeah. that's why we have the 784. Yeah. Two wheel drives, good around the yard, but. In the summer when we want to use both the tractors out in the field to do a bit of ploughing and power hiring, both of them. It's good. Uh, it's not as good having the two wheel drive to have a four wheel drive. Yeah. Okay. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> you just got all my water down. But... Um, oh, I've got the It's quite yeah, so that's what we'd say. Yeah. Next question. So this one is from Squidders. Uh, and he put, what's better, modern tractors or a good old bus? Oh, I don't oh. know if that... Sound. Old. Yeah, and, sound old. And sometimes old. looks. S good old bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're, if you're working all day, every day, you know, 24 no, 7, like the... hot, cold, yeah. Yeah. And, you, and rough ground, modern tractor. Yeah. So it all depends, really. But, but yeah. I don't know. The old the can't be, be a bit of an old grunt, yeah. I say. If you have, because the, the newer tractors don't one, have as much. If you have an older one, um, with working aircon and everything, then that's yeah, good. yeah, I'll take yeah. that. We find it a bit silly now, how uh, back in the 1970s they'd have had a a hundred horse tractor that would have been their big tractor. Yeah. Uh, cool. Six for a plough, and now they'll have a 300 horsepower tractor on it. Which, that, that, yeah. That's a that's an ant. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that, we find that a bit silly. Yeah. But perhaps it's because the, the new ones. ones don't have as much grunt. But yeah. And with the old ones, they don't have as much electrics. Yeah. So you have less things to go wrong. Where with the modern ones, you've got all these electrics. And if it does go wrong, you know you don't have to call out mm. four different mechanics from four different places. Yeah. Come and plug a computer just, into. Yeah. It. You just get Stan from down the road to come in there. Yeah. Yeah. Fix it up. When the sound comes in his van, yeah, he'll come fix it up. But next question. Next one is great video. This one is from Out on the Farm. But great video. What was the first tractor you drove, and how old were you when you drove it? So Rupert, you haven't really driven. Yeah, I, 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 uh, when I'm eleven. The Rolly Toys pedal tractor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <When you're two. laughs> I've driven one of those before. Yeah. Um, oh, still, oh, got, well, still got it. Well, you you drove our little old. Tractor we had. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, uh, was, we were changed, made it into a racing one, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, well, yeah. I, did, that, I, I was, 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 was rolling all the, um, yeah. I was rolling all yeah, the, um, yeah. I was going, I remember. Yeah, you did go rolling on it <laughs> on the, uh, what, on the Georgia Cable, but, but going, yeah. I was in the new Holland yeah. TR100. Just going past you going, next. Yeah, that, that, that was. Well, he's driven that, but, um, what about you then, Max? That was me. I drove a little John Deere ages ago, but it wasn't really much driving. Yeah. Just gave it a few revs and... But the first one properly I drove, probably the either the 956 or the TR100, I can't really remember. Yeah, uh, probably, no, probably the, the 956, 956 yeah. yeah. That, I did some log carting with that, yeah. first time I drove that. Uh, I also ripped my brand new pair of jeans, cool. Uh, 
And then mm -hmm. I was about 12, I think. Yeah. I think. It was it was like year 8. I think the so, first yeah. tractor I drove would have been the 784. And I was about 8, 10, I mm. think I was. Um, I didn't really do much driving, I just drove around the field a couple of times and then uh, loaded the loader down to put some uh, hurdles on. Yeah. Uh, but I still remember it, and I would have been about 8 or 10, I don't remember really. Yeah. Wow, well, um, if a backhoe counts, I drove one when I was free. <laughs> My dad had it parked in a field, but I drove that round field. Did you nick it? I did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was my dad's and I started driving it around the field apparently. I don't remember it, but apparently I did. Uh, um, according to my parents. But, yeah, but I don't so, think that really counts because. So, uh, been the old Rolly Toy tractor for yeah, a yeah. the. Uh, and, and the 956 for Max yeah, and the 784 for me. Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, what's the next one? Oh, this one. This one's mainly for you, I think. This one's by Ging or Ginge or something, 155. And they put Favourite New Holland. Ooh. Nice! Oh, I think, <laughs> I think I'm going to start on this one and um, Rupert should go last because he's the new Holland yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so start uh, from the Massey fan all the way down yeah, to yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to say, I don't know, I'm going to say a T7-210. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're nice. Well. Our contractor's got one, you would have seen it perhaps yeah. in last year's silage video. Yeah. Got a model. Didn't bring it this year. I've got a model one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah T7-210. Uh, nice, equally sized tractor. It can do small jobs. I've been well, one. it can do smaller jobs and it can do bigger jobs. Yeah. They're nice inside. Uh, I've yeah. had a good, bit of a go on a T7. Comfy. And they're, yeah, they're comfy enough. Um, and they're easy to drive and everything. And they're quite nice. Not not too big. Yeah. Uh, 210 horsepower. I think it boosts. I think. Um, but if you ask me, I'd say the older style ones. I think. Um, with the old style bonnet, not the new style yeah. bonnet, I don't like them. The no. Union Jack on the cab yep. roof and that's uh, nice. Yeah. Job's good. And yeah. For me, it'd probably be a TM 155. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. The co bus. same contract ha has one of them. Yeah. Uh, that was in the silage video. Yeah, you'd have seen uh, Also in the sound compilation. Com yeah, sound compilation and also uh, one of our higher view videos. Uh, Oh, the, uh, the combining. Yeah, combining. Yeah. TMP Richards yeah, and they show show us how it's done with the New Orleans. Yeah, she was green cast yeah, on that she day. Was, yeah. The day that was her. Yeah, had a few had a little go on her. Yeah. yeah. Um well, right. now, ah, here to, go. to the New Holland boy. Right. Um <laughs> my my favourite is probably said it last year and yeah, no, just there. Mm -hmm. What do the video for? T New Holland T seven two fifty. Yeah. They yeah. are nice. I think well, I don't know about two, you, Rupert, but two you, tens. Would you rather a T7 over a T6? I know I would. I think they just look a bit better. Yeah. No, bit, two bit. T7s. Yeah. So you prefer T7s? But then the T8s. Yeah. But then t just the T7 250. Yeah. 250 yeah. horsepower. And then you've got the T8s. The T8s. And then the, you've got the T8s. Yeah. That's just. Just. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, old Holland are the best. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but then you've got the older ones. Yeah. Did you like the older ones? So it's just you're into the T series. That's what they call it. Mm. The old ones are nice. I've seen them a few times. What, so but what then... do you sort of think of the TMs? Like, oh, the nice TMs, TMs, yeah, they're nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're a bit grunt. Yeah. Yeah. Good bit of grunt, mate. Yeah. Up yeah. yeah. uh, the hills, but T7250 is probably my favourite. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so on to the next question. No. I think that this is the final question, and I think it's oh, I think one of the best, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So, Blue Sparks has oh, put pie and mash or burger and chips. Oh, oh yeah. another day. I don't know about that one. It depends on the situation. Yeah, it depends on the situation. So, let's what say you turn up at a pub after a hard day of cultivating, let's yeah. say. You turn hard up, day of work. Hard I... day of work. You turn up at the pub. Yeah. I think classic. Burger and chips. You know, you always have that. Oh, it's no, so I, was thinking, you know, I was thinking, turn up of a hard day and work and you want pie and mash. Oh, yeah, then the, the gravy on top. Oh, yeah. But, oh. but it depends. And then the pie, it depends I can on beat. mood you're in, I think. Because with a burger, sometimes they make it too big and you've got to work to eat the burger. Yeah, you can't. But you don't want to have to work after work just to eat. Yeah, you can't You yeah. can't be burger and chips, though. You nice can't. chips, nice chunky chips. You used to hate the chips, but now I love chips. So I would say pie, um, yeah. Can't beat pie and mash. Yeah. We have pie nights we do. Yeah, pie nights. You used to hate pie, pie nights. Friday night. Nice. That's us. Yeah. 
sorted for the weekend when we've had our pie night. Um, oh, that's really but yeah, we do do like pie gravy night. on top. Yeah, yeah oh, gravy on yeah. top. But then then there's the burger and chips there. Yeah. Well, it depends on the burger. This is yeah, the, yeah, this is the key factor of the burger because yeah. you don't want the burger. Sometimes the burger can sometimes be a bit dry, be dry or bland. And, and also, sometimes you can you drop it from this high and it, it bounces off the yeah. plate. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. but also, you want your salad to come out yeah. still cold while it's on top of the burger. Yeah. Crunchy, if it's like hot lettuce. and all yeah. soggy and everything, yeah. then it's no. Like lettuce in the if burger. If it's got crispy lettuce, you know. Like crisp, fresh salad on your burger. Yeah, yeah burger relish. Ooh. I'll beat it to be honest. I'll beat it. So, but yeah. yeah. So, I can do uh, that. Thank you to everyone who yeah, sent in that thank comment, you. and yeah. thank you to everyone who was sending uh, a picture of their dream tractor or their tractor yeah. Yeah. So for the we'll, giveaway. We'll, 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 we'll be announcing that, on, we'll uh, be announcing that next week. Yeah, yeah. Feb the tenth. Good yeah, year this year, and uh, yeah, we've started yeah, it off be, well. I, I think this will be our year, 2020. Yeah. Here we come. Hopefully, yeah. yeah.